Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 11 of our series of session on F12 configuration for inventory masters. So in the last session, we understood about the costing method and the market valuation method. So in this session, we will understand the various costing method that Tally provides and also a couple of market valuation method that Tally provides. And we will see how we can change the default valuation method in Tally for your stock items. As I mentioned in the earlier session, the default valuation method that Tally provides is average cost. So let's go to Tally and then explore these options. Applying different costing method is very interesting, important and critical knowledge to understand as to how you would want your stock valuation to be done and also generate a what if scenario to assess the impact of the value of stock you are holding by temporarily applying different valuation methods on the fly from the stock summary, which we will experiment in just a while after understanding different valuation methods and their impact. So first, let us start with different costing method. Now for us to apply a different costing method from the default method that Tally provides is average cost. You can do it through the alteration screen for all the stock items which you have already created and transacted or if you are creating a new item you can go to the create and then you can set the option so in case you want to alter the existing stock items valuation from the default average method so you can go to alter select stock item then select the item you want to change the valuation method enter here and this option we have enabled using f12 configuration in the last session we saw this so use costing method and market valuation method we have made this as s so this option is available and you come here and when you press space bar it is going to give you the various list of costing methods that tally provides okay so first let us go the other way of doing it and uh, changing the valuation method can also be done through any report that you are viewing. So let's say I go to stock summary. I select stock summary and let us select laptops. I am pressing F5 to get the list of all the stock items of different groups. So first notice here, the Dell laptop i3 has got 36 numbers and the rate is 34,000. 700. So this is the default valuation method of average cost is applied and you get the value of inventory here. So now let's go to the master and see various costing method that Tally provides and we will also apply these cost costing methods and see the impact. So this 34,700 that you are seeing is the average cost. So to modify any information in the master from any report of inventory or accounting, select the master, either it could be a stock item or your accounting master, inventory master or accounting master. So press control enter, it will take you to the stock item alteration screen. So here, <coughs> come to the costing method. So you see here, this is the default costing method that Tally provides. Get your cursor here, press space bar, and then let's start understanding and exploring each of the costing method. The first costing method is the at zero cost. What is this at zero cost? For what item you would apply this at zero cost and what would be the impact? So the best example that we can take for applying the costing method as zero cost is let us say in your organization, you want to track the fixed assets that you have uh, in your organization, which means you want to 
account those fixed assets by quantity, by the name of the fixed assets, the rate at which you have purchased. It's kind of a fixed asset register, we can say. It's not the real fixed asset register, but the kind of you can have those historical information. So you want to maintain fixed assets as inventory in tally. But then the value of that fixed asset should not impact your inventory. Right? So how do you handle this? Now, that is where you have this option called at zero cost. So any item that you are creating, let's say you create a separate group in your uh, inventory master as fixed assets, and you are creating all those fixed assets as stock item, and then you can make inward entry, you can make outward entry. But what is the purpose? The purpose is that you want to track it. And most importantly, you don't want that value to be reflecting as part of your inventory valuation. Right. So you create that item and then select zero cost. So let us apply zero cost and then see what happens to the value of this stock. So we saw 36 numbers at 34,700 uh, and, the, and, the, and the total value of the stock. So if we apply at zero cost and then I press control A, instantaneously Tally is going to do all the calculation based on your costing method that you have applied so in this case now you notice here dell laptop 36 quantity is there rate and value is not there and since the value is now become literally zero the total inventory value also gets reduced okay so that way all your fixed asset items can be tracked here number one number two uh, let's say you you are having certain uh, uh, stationary items which are maybe uh, you know expensive stationary items which you want to track the quantity that you have purchased quantity that you have uh, uh, you know issued uh, in that case also you can you can create all your stationary items as part of your inventory and apply at zero cost so that you know you will have all this information for example let us see what happens even though my closing stock value is at zero for this particular item if you enter here it will give you the complete history of how much of quantity you have purchased at what rate you have purchased every information you are going to get but only thing the closing stock valuation is going to be zero because you you have applied the costing method as zero valuation this will be very very useful for you to track any uh, item in your organization which are not supposed to form part of your inventory using zero value you can achieve it and you can have better control over uh, all your uh, items or inventories which are not part of your trading inventories now let us go to the <coughs> alteration screen again and then let's explore more more options so zero cost we saw and we also saw the impact average cost is the standard which is there and the next one is fifo so what is fifo so we all know that fifo is first in first out so what tally is going to do it is going to consider all your inverts in in this order so whatever items have come first it will consider those items are going out first. When I say consider, it is going to consider that rate for inventory valuation. Right. So again, uh, in my inventories uh, fundamentals, I have explained how the FIFO system is going to work. You can you can look into that thing, and also you can click on the I icon to. Uh, I have uploaded the video for your reference. You can view that uh, video and then you know have a better understanding of how this FIFO system and LIFO system works. Okay. So this is FIFO. And the next one that you are seeing is FIFO Perpetual. So what is the difference between FIFO and FIFO Perpetual? FIFO is, it will take the, if you have an opening stock, it is going to take the opening stock and then it is going to apply all your items that you have purchased. So it is going to take your opening stock first if you are selling because of the FIFO and rest all first what comes in will go out first. Now in case of a perpetual 
let's say you are a running organization where you have multiple years uh, inventory data with you last two years data you have and you are in the third current year in that case uh, generally what tally does if you apply fifo it will consider the fifo rate it will also take the if there are uh, items from two different invert where the rate is different for two invert it is going to take consider the balance what is lying using the fifo method it will take the rate and then it is going to give you the amount so in the next financial year you will get a single amount which is kind of an average of this two fifo or three fifo quantities of the previous year that has been brought forward in the current year then in the current year it is going to take all your inward outward using the fifo method but in that case what happens if you have a uh, lot of stock item lying with you uh, from the various purchases of different rate in that case you can apply fifo perpetual so the moment you apply fifo perpetual tally is going to basically take all the inward right from your first day of the beginning of your financial year of your company till the current date so if you have 3 years data it is going to consider fifo for all 3 years one very important thing that you have to remember that all the 3 years data or 2 years data or any number of year data should be in the same company this is not going to work in a split environment because the moment you split your data it becomes a different company so remember that you should have previous years uh, data in the same company only then the fifo perpetual is going to work in the next session we will explore the other options and also we will see the impact so in this session we saw zero cost valuation we understood fifo and we understood fifo perpetual so in the next session we will explore more options and see what is the best valuation method that will suit your organization so that you can apply this costing method accordingly thank you all for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much